close your eyes for a while and imagine a sunny day in Kuala Lumpur. You are walking past the street to reach the university. But the very next moment, you open your eyes without a leg on a hospital bed. This is the disaster and nightmare that those with limb loss, those who have lost their leg or arm due to accident, face it every second of their lives. Being a clinician for years, I've been in close contact with those who have lost their legs and complaining of the way their limbs or their legs and hands were attached to their body. Complaining of how difficult it was for them to remove and wear again the prosthesis or the artificial leg during the night. How it caused pressure sore and skin problems for them. And finally, how scared they were if the leg was off when they were walking. My PhD was about how to suspend or attach uh, an artificial leg to the body securely but also comfortably. Examining various systems on real amputees, I noticed that there are a lot of pros and cons of the systems. But mechanical and mechanical evaluations showed that they were unsatisfied. Therefore, I come up with a new design in order to solve their problems and make their lives easier. Not only that, I, for the first time, I attached an alarm system to the prosthetic leg in order to alarm them if they were going to fall, which is very common among those who have lost their limbs and there's no contact between the brain and the prosthetic leg. My design was successfully uh, used and the patients were satisfied, lower pressure, less problems during walking and they were more confident. Not only that, last month, a world-renowned uh, prosthetic company signed an agreement in order to make it available to all that need it around the world. And this gentleman in this picture is the one who used it for cycling as the first Malaysian person, disabled person, to cycle 1,000 kilometers using my system. Thank you. <laughs>